Welcome back to Good Day State Line. When the seasons change, your hair changes too. I like fall the best because I feel like we can finally do our hair without worrying about the humidity. For sure. Right? So yes. Bria's here from Meraki Salon. We're going to talk about perfect curls. Jenny's here too, but we're probably not going to see her face. We're just going to see her pretty hair. <laughs> Jenny's our nail tech yeah. and we love her. She's um, awesome. So Jenny's hair doesn't hold curl very well, which okay. is a very common problem, especially in the Midwest with all the humidity. Thankfully, we are going into a more dry season, so that's not a big deal. But I brought uh, my flat iron, okay. a curling wand, and a regular like curling iron so that I can show everybody how to do it each way. Awesome. Um, everybody has their own preference. Some people don't know how to use one or the other. Like Personally, I'm not great at the flat iron. I prefer the curling iron okay. or the wand, but some people don't know how to do it with a curling iron. So I'll show you um, how okay. to do it with each of them. So I like to start okay. by sectioning the hair. Usually, not gonna lie, when I'm doing it at home on myself, I have two clips, but I'm just gonna work with one. So I section off a little bit down at the bottom. Okay. Jenny has a little bit of a natural wave to her hair. Mm -hmm. um, just do however much hair you feel will comfortably go in whichever tool you're using. Mm -hmm. If you want a looser curl, you can take bigger sections. Do you spray something on the hair before? It depends. So okay. she does already have like a heat protectant in her hair. Okay. Depending on the person, like if it doesn't hold super well, we can spray a little bit of a light hold working spray in it. Um, this one's really nice. It's super buildable. It's refined by Oya. Okay. And it smells amazing. Ooh, it does yeah, smell Yeah, it amazing. smells so good. <laughs> so the first curl I'm gonna do is with a curling iron, because okay. that's my favorite method. And I like to work with a one inch. This is also a long barrel. Most yeah. people don't have this long of one. I do a lot of hair extensions, so okay. it comes in handy. So would you need a long barrel if your hair isn't long? Not necessarily. Okay. Just makes it a little easier. Sure. You're not worrying about like the hair going all over the place. So one big thing that a lot of people do wrong, so I'll show the wrong way first, okay. is <laughs> start at the bottom and curl up like this. That's, I think the that's wrong how way. we all did it in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and that really just curls the very end. If you want the curl to be from top to bottom, or even top to midway, which is really popular right now to mm -hmm. get the lived in look, you actually want to start more at the top and just kind of feed it down. So you're loosely opening the barrel. Okay. About how long do you spend on each curl? It depends on the person's okay. hair. Jenny's hair, it'll take curl okay, but it won't hold for terribly long. So if I want a tighter, more defined curl, I'll hold it a little bit longer. If okay. I want it to be more loose and lived in, we'll let it go pretty quickly. Okay. So I'll do one more with this guy. And when you're using a regular curling iron, do you rotate the direction of the curl? What do you do? Again, it totally depends on the look you're going for. On myself, um, I usually just pretend I have a line down my head and I curl away from the face. Okay. Um, it's a softer look when you curl away from your face. Curling towards the face, you're gonna have like the random trundles that just Don't kind of fall forward. <laughs> no, yours is, yours is curled the correct way. Um, not that there's a correct way, but it just kind of keeps everything out of the way sure. and a little more like, I don't know, nice yeah, looking. I like it, yeah. Yeah. So, another thing that you can do is if you want it to be a lot more loose, you can run your fingers through it while it's still warm. Okay. If you want it to hold up a little more, just leave it, let it like cool down a little bit. So, here's with a regular curling iron. Okay. So, I'm going to take a wand and you can do it a couple different ways. I personally... The wand scares me. Yeah, it scares a lot of people. Most wands come with a glove. Yeah. I do have a glove. I just didn't bring it. You don't um, need it because you're awesome. Um, I need it. <laughs> I burn myself all the time with a wand, all the time, but I, you get used to it. So I just kind of hold it like this and I flatten the hair. Okay. Um, normally, if you're just kind of like wrapping it, it's going to, the hair itself is going to get twisted. Okay. Like, I don't, you probably can't oh, see, I it can see it very well, I can but see it in the yeah, which is fine. It's just going to give it a little more texture. Wands were, are they still super trendy? Cause when I, they first like came out, I, I tell you, I bought one and I was like, I cannot do this. I returned it right away. Cause you I know, kept burning my face that's and how my I was hands. Too. That's how I was too. <laughs> the first one I had was also tapered. So it got yeah. really skinny at the end and it was not good. You like this one better. Yes. I like the, how it's like the same yeah. diameter all the way down. 
that way like the ends of your hair aren't super curled so I don't know there's pros and cons sometimes I feel like a curling wand will hold a little bit better on okay. people with resistant hair we want it to stay up we can also kind of hold it up and let it cool for a second instead of just okay. dropping it down because it's gonna drop and then you can fall. kind of see the difference between yeah. that one and this one sure oh yeah so there's that with the curling wand like I said, I honestly, I rarely use a curling wand anymore. It I, was trendy for a while. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm actually gonna do one more with this. Just to make her look good. Exactly. Jenny, and over then, here. Jenny, you look, you do look good. You look yeah, so cute. Yeah. And we'll have to take a picture of your baby and post him because she brought oh. a brand new baby into the studio. I got very excited when he walked brand in. Brand new, he's He didn't so walk cute. in, he's like two months old, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna take down another section really quick and I'll show you how to do a flat iron okay. curl, which is also not my favorite. I feel like it takes a lot of coordination. Okay. That's another reason I like the curling iron. You don't really have to think about it. You just grab it and go. I feel like some people are just really good at it yeah. for some reason. There are people who can't use a curling iron yeah. to save their lives where I, I could not curl my hair with a flat iron. Like I can do it on other people, sure. but I could never do it on myself and have <laughs> it look normal. So. We're just gonna take a little section. It's maybe a little wider than an inch. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're not going for like the perfect glam look. If you want it to be more lived in. Um, I so, like that phrase. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to say you're a mess, Messy. but kind of <laughs> put together. Okay, so you kind of want to rotate your wrist awkwardly. Okay. And close it and do a full like 180, 360, 180. I don't, I don't know. know. Just some numbers. I don't know. Let's turn it. And pull it down. Yeah, see, okay, that but doesn't it's a even, different, it's doesn't a different even look. look that great. Exactly. It it's is going to give you a different wavy -ish, look. wavy-ish, I think. Yeah. Beachy. Yes, beachy is a really good term. It's a good one, too. What, so, like, someone with Jenny's amount of hair, or like my amount of hair, how long should it take us to curl our own hair? At home? Yeah. I would probably say no more than five minutes. Oh, okay. Um, but, I don't know, it depends on how often you do it. If you do it regularly, you could probably get it done in a couple I feel minutes. like when I start, I'm like, oh, it's gonna look good today, and then I just get real bored real fast, and then I just go Again, in like all different directions. That's why this whole lived-in look is the lived -in so look. much better. It's wonderful. And everybody likes it loose now. Yeah. Um, so one thing that you can do if you feel like this is too much, you can go back and run your flat iron through the end. Okay. One thing about that, it does help it not clump together. Sorry, this sure. is looking a little rough. <laughs> That's a good um, get all the tools. Yeah. So yeah, even if you are using a curling iron and you want to go back through and kind of straighten the ends out, you definitely can. One nice thing is when you're blow drying it, if you try to blow dry it pretty smooth before you curl it, that's going to give it a lot nicer look. The ends aren't going to look frizzy and frayed sure. and, and nobody all that, that crazy stuff. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to worry about going through it with a curling iron and then going back through it with a straightener but if you are super frizzy on the end i might suggest that or girls who have insanely curly hair even if you blow dry it a lot of times mm -hmm. they'll still have the little tight ringlets around yeah. their face you can go back through with a flat iron afterwards and just kind of do that another tip that you can do which is a little dangerous so be careful doing it is you can take your um, wand or curling sure. iron or whatever you're using you and it honestly a... just kind of rub it on it instead of having to clamp See, that's anything why we around have you, it. We can also just go visit you at Meraki and you can you just can. do it for us, you which can. is my favorite answer. You can visit there at uh, 5324 Williams Drive in Roscoe and you can follow them on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. We'll let you sit here so she can finish your hair, Jenny. When we come back, <laughs> the perfect baking kit for your kids uh, to be a part of your tailgate celebration and then it's game day with the Solo Cup Challenge. The preceding segment was sponsored by Meraki Salon and Studio.